Tonight, Daddy Snooks, played by Hanley Stafford, is in a bad way. He went to a stag affair at his lodge last night and is now trying to recover from the horrible after-effects of the wassail bowl. He is resting in his study as Baby Snooks enters. Let's hear your groan, Daddy. Oh, oh, my head. Oh. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> oh, you're here. Now, go away, Snooks. Daddy's trying to rest. <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? Because you're wearing that funny hat. That's not a funny hat. It's an ice bag. It looks like a funny hat. Well, it's not. Only crazy people wear funny hats. Crazy people? Yes. And the thing on my head is an ice bag. Are you hot, Daddy? No, I'm not hot. I've got chills. From my ice bag? No. I've got chills because I have a fever. Huh? My temperature is high, so my resistance is low. And when my body heat rises, it makes me feel cold when I'm really very warm. Shall I get you a funny hat, Daddy? I don't want any funny hats. Oh, leave me alone. My head is splitting. Oh. Oh. Why is your head splitting, Daddy? Oh, because... Because I worked too late in the office last night. Oh. How was the smoker, Daddy? All right, you little snooper. So I went to a smoker. And don't ask me to tell you what a smoker is, and don't bother me at all. Just get out of here. All right. Oh, oh. Oh, my stomach. Oh, my sick. Daddy! Oh, what do you want? How'd you get sick? Well, at this party last night, there was so much smoke that it got into my lungs and caused this headache. Now, do you know what's the matter with me? Mm-hmm. I got a hangover. Brooks, <laughs> what are you saying? That's what Mommy said on the phone. Oh, she did, eh? Big blabbermouth. Huh? Nothing. Go away and let me get some sleep. All right. Oh. Oh. Bye! Don't do that! Do what, Daddy? Yell in my ear like that. Huh? Yell in my ear! All right, hey! Oh, my head. What are you doing to me? You told me to yell in your ear. Oh, Snooks, please leave me alone for a half hour. Just one half hour, please. All right. Daddy! Oh, oh, now what is it? Where did you go last night? To my lodge. It was our annual smoker. Did you take Mommy? No. Why? Because no women are allowed there. Only elks. <laughs> and why did you go? Because I'm an elk. Huh? I said I'm an elk. Yeah! What are you hollering about? But I think you're crazy. <laughs> What's crazy about my being an elk? A lot of people are elks. Uh-huh. <laughs> my boss is not only an elk, but he's a lion and a moose and an eagle. How much does it cost to see him? It doesn't cost anything. Those are the lodges that he belongs to. Now run along and let Daddy's headache get better. I'll go if you buy me an ice cream cone. You can't have any ice cream cones. (laughs) Don't do that. Don't jar my head. I want an ice cream cone. No, I can't afford it. I work too hard for my money. Aren't you rich, Daddy? No, I'm not rich. That is, not in cash. I'm rich in other things, I guess. Oh, my head. Why are you rich in, Daddy? I'm rich in other things, I guess. Oh, my head. Why are you rich in, Daddy? Oh, well, I I have your mother and you and your baby sister. I place a great value on all of you. How much? Oh, I don't know. I guess I rate you at a million dollars and your mother at a million and the baby at half a million. Oh, Daddy. What? Sell a baby and buy me an ice cream cone. Now listen. You listen to me, Snooks. You're old enough to learn not to ask for so many things, but to give a little more. Give what, Daddy? Well, for instance, you have a lot of toys. Only last month you got that great big doll for a present. You mean the one that Uncle Louis sent me? Yes. And that poor little Smith girl down the street has no toys. And no Uncle Louis to send her any. Mm-hmm. Now, wouldn't you like to give her that doll? No. Well, <laughs> what would you like to give her? Uncle Louis. <laughs> Snooks. Oh, I'm afraid you're not imbued with the spirit of charity, Snooks. I want you to grow up to be loved by everybody. 
Be kind and generous. Mm-hmm. And you'll be much happier, too. You'll learn what a wonderful thrill there is in giving. Much greater than receiving. Mm-hmm. Do you know why I'm telling you all these things? Mm-hmm. Why? Because you don't want to buy me an ice cream cone. <laughs> now, that's not it at all. I thought maybe you'd remember that Monday is my birthday. And you might buy me a little present. All right. Daddy... Would you like me to buy you a chocolate cake? Oh, no. With whipped cream? Oh, stop that. With marshmallows? Oh, I'm sick. Snooks, don't don't mention food. Well, what shall I buy you, Daddy? Oh, anything, anything. Go away now and let me pull myself together. All right. I see how much money I got my little bit of pizza with you back. Yes, yes. Oh, thank heaven. Now maybe I'll rest. Oh, Snooks. What's all that noise? Oh, don't do it now, please. I got it open, Daddy. Well, that's good. Now leave me alone. All right. You know what I'm going to buy you for your birthday? No. What? A new watch. Oh, that's silly. I've already got a very fine watch. No, you ain't, Daddy. Now, why do you say that? Because I just used it to break open my bank. What? <laughs> you little... <laughs> was swell. And now, young lady, I'd like a word with you. Oh, me? Yes, you. Come over here, Snooks. All right. You understand the purpose of this program we're giving here tonight, don't you? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Well, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> I thought so. Well, we're trying to get everybody in this whole country to contribute dimes. Why? Right. To help a lot of poor, unfortunate, sick children, Snooks. Oh. Mr. Cantor? Yes? Did you just hear me bust open my bank? Yes, you're going to buy Daddy a watch for his birthday, aren't you, Snooky? Oh, no, I ain't. <laughs> no? Well, what are you going to do with the money? Here, you can have it. Me? For all little sick children. Well, baby Snooks, that's the nicest gesture I've ever seen. Thank you so much. And now... Thank you, Fanny Bryce and Stanley Stafford. 